In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning. Ran into some technical difficulties this morning as the first time I'm ever doing this all by myself. So I hope it's going to work out and hopefully we can continue to pray with each other and hopefully we will be able to fix the other problems. But uh, I'm hoping this is going to work. So good morning and welcome. As we celebrate our Mass this morning of the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time, we, the intention of the Mass is for all of your intentions, all those that have been put on the prayer list. So let's be grateful for that, and let us also be grateful for the forgiveness of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God beside you who have the care of all, that you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is the source of justice. Your mastery over all things make you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved. And in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are the master of might, you judge with clemency, and with much lenience you govern us. For power, whenever you will, attends you, and you taught your people by these deeds, that those who are just might be kind, and you gave your children good ground for hope, that you would permit repentance for their sins. The word of the Lord. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my pleading. Lord, you are good and forgiving. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great and you do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O Lord, are a God of merciful and graciousness, slow to anger, abounding in kindness and fidelity. Turn toward me and have pity on me. Give your strength to your servants. Lord, you are good and forgiving. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus proposed another parable to the crowd, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone is asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your soil? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the weed along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time I will say to the harvesters, First collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat 
into my barn. The gospel of the Lord. It's good to be here. I'm in the, the rectory friary chapel at St. Rita, and I'm doing this all by myself, and I'm hoping it's going to work. And it's good to be with you. My mother, God rest her soul, she always said to me, she said to us, nothing good happens after midnight. Nothing good happens in the darkness of night. She's pretty right. My guess is many of you have said that, whether you're a parent, or many of you have heard that from your parents. What we just heard in this gospel is that something evil was done under darkness in the middle of the night. This farmer who sowed good seed, but an enemy came and did bad things and sowed weed. And so then as the weed and the wheat start coming together, and the servants we heard, they said, Master, didn't you use really good seed? He said, I did, it's an enemy. See, friends, nothing good happens after midnight, especially when we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. See, the wheat is us, and the weed is sinfulness. You know, the devil is not happy that we're here. The devil wanted to take my problem with getting this done today and say, yeah, don't do it. But you know what? I'm not going to listen to the devil. I'm going to listen to Jesus. You didn't have to be here praying during this Mass from wherever you are, but you're here. You're not making the devil happy. Good. Let's make Jesus happy. Let's not make the devil happy. But the sower is, is God, and he says, let it all go to harvest time. And the good will put into the barns, the bad will burn. And what he's talking about is us. How are we living faithfully? How are we being our best? How are we never giving up? You know, it's tough living life. We wish life would be easier. And we know that during this COVID time. But if we give up, we're the weed. And the weed wins which means the devil wins. But if we fight through the weed, if we live with the weed, but don't get smothered by the weed, then Jesus wins. So friends, how are you doing it? How are you living your life? How are you saying yes when you don't want to say yes? How are you saying yes when you want to give up? Because the devil wants you to give up. And I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to encourage me. Don't give up. Don't give up. The simple thing of not having this done the way it's always been. I'm not giving up. How about you? I remember when I was principal at St. Rita High School in Chicago, we were talking once to an alarm company for the school. And we were talking about different things that we were going to put in and such to keep the school safe. And the salesman said, Father, can I tell you what is the most effective detriment to criminals? I said, what? Thinking he's going to sell me, you know, some system that's five times what I'm looking at. He said, lights. He said, keep your fluorescent hall lights on in the school. He said, bad people do not like light. They want to be in the darkness. But if you have the lights on, they will go somewhere else. And then being the son of a union electrician, I know, because my dad always told me, the incandescent lamps, we had to turn off. Fluorescent can be stayed on all the time, can stay on all the time, because it costs money to turn the fluorescent light on. So literally, leaving fluorescent lights on is costing pennies, especially the high energy ones. So, knock on wood, we've had no problem. Because goodness happens in light. Darkness happens, or sinfulness happens in darkness. Bad things happen in darkness. So friends, 
How are you and I going to live in the light? And we do it by celebrating the Eucharist. Now, I will receive the Eucharist today, and I know you cannot do it and make your spiritual communion. But you know what? We're all together, and Jesus is with us. And he is the center of our life. He is our light. At our baptism, we were given, our parents were given a light from the Paschal candle. And they were told to keep this light burning brightly. Because goodness happens with light. Good things happen in the daylight. Nothing good happens after midnight. Wise, wise words from my mother and probably your mother. We need to listen to our mothers. So friends, I'm not going to give up. We're living as the wheat among the, the weed. But let us know that Jesus will always take care of us. And he will show us eternal life forever. All we have to do is be faithful. How good it is that we are here. Let us be the light, my friends. And let us never be the weed. And let us never live in the darkness. Amen. And now, let us offer to God and pray our Nicene Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray now our prayer of the faithful. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for all the men and women who lead us in faith. We pray to the Lord. For all of our civil leaders, that they may truly work for the betterment of all people, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our first responders, our nurses, doctors, all those essential workers, all those who work to make our lives easier, for all the scientists and doctors working for a cure of the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our military men and women in thanksgiving for what they've done for us. We pray to the Lord. Let's pray for Deacon Jack Tierney, who on Saturday will be ordained to the priesthood, and for Deacon Jack, that he may have a full and prosperous life as an Augustinian priest. We pray to the Lord. And for all the sick, anyone in our prayer list, anyone in your intentions, any of us who need the healing touch of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. And for our beloved dead, that they may know Jesus forever, we pray to the Lord. And for all who are suffering from COVID, financially, spiritually, emotionally, healthy, may we be healthy and be at peace. We pray to the Lord. Please offer your own intention. We pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, thank you for always listening. Help us to accept the answers you send. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we have received, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, wash my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, and faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother of Good Counsel, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Augustine, St. Monica, St. Rita, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. We wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace to everyone and to all of us. We are one even though we're apart. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. See what you believe in and become what you receive. In Jesus, I receive you spiritually, knowing I cannot be with you at this moment, but I am with you sacramentally in my heart. May Jesus always be in our heart. 
May he always be there for us, and may we always count on him. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Thank you for praying with me this morning, especially under these conditions. I think I did it. So see, we can always try something new. Never give up. Please, uh, if you can, be with us through the live stream of Deacon Jack Tierney's ordination mass, uh, 11 o'clock next Saturday. I will put the link out on Twitter and on my uh, Facebook. Hopefully you can uh, be part of that. And uh, please continue to pray for vocations. Thanks to all for uh, your continued support. If you'd like to support, please go to the website, fontatomaccarthy.com. We again had a wonderful food pantry. I got the sunburn to prove it. And um, Please help us. We need your help. And the Augustinians need your help too for our formation candidates. Have a great week. Don't give up. Remember, we are the light. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth. The Mass is ended.